So let's look into the iMaster NCE. Huawei iMaster NCE is the industry intelligent network automation platform that integrates management, control, analysis, and artificial intelligence capability. So this is a product that currently is already available. So first, SDN-based automatic service configuration deploy, AI-based intelligent analysis, prediction, and troubleshooting. Here we have the automation and the intelligence. So you can see that we have two in one. We have the automation and the brain here. So traditionally, we use uh, NMS and the Huawei NMS is called eSight. So when you add the eSight and the controller, you have the automation and the intelligence. Next, we can do a unified database detection, location, and troubleshooting. Here we have the manager, controller, and the analysis. So if you are familiar with Huawei product, Huawei have a controller called Agile Controller. This Agile Controller is for authentication purpose. So when you have the manager, in this case the eSight network, with the controller, which is the Agile Controller, and the analysis, which is the campus insight, then you will have this three in one. So you can do detection, location, and troubleshooting. Else you can actually do four in one. So we can do planning, construction, maintenance, and optimization. This is the full cycle management simulation verification and monitoring optimization, which consists of the eSight, the controller, and the analyzer, so we can have the full suite of iMaster NCE. This is where Huawei is moving into autonomous driving network four in one. Okay, so this is the background of iMaster NCE. So let's look into the iMaster NCE. As I mentioned earlier on, iMaster NCE is already available. You can check out Huawei website. It can run on the desktop, it can run on your tablet, or they also have an apps for that as well. So where is this iMaster NCE applied to? So it applied to data center, you can use the iMaster NCE fabric, then you can use iMaster on the enterprise campus, which is iMaster NCE uh, campus, then we can do SD-WAN, we can use for IP WAN, which is iMaster NCE IP, and we also can do for transmission, iMaster NCE T. So these are the different products meant for different environment because some of the technology we will not use in the enterprise example here, the transmission. So some of the enterprise may or may not use the transmission. So they put it into modular base. The iMaster NCE can install all this in one single iMaster server. So for our discussion, we are looking into iMaster Fabric and iMaster NCE Campus. So we are not going to look for the uh, NCET or the NCE WAN. Now let's look into Huawei Cloud Fabric Data Center Network Autonomous Driving Network Solution. So here we look into the iMaster NCE Fabric. DCN provides full lifecycle services from planning, construction, O&M to optimization. Here we have a diagram. Let's look into the bottom here. We have the virtualized machine. Uh, we have also have physical machine and a containers. In this case, we have dockers. We can use the iMaster NCE Cloud Fabric to manage all these virtualized environments. The protocol that we can use include telemetry, ER span, which is encapsulated remote switch port analyzer, NetCoff, and SNMP. So here the iMaster NCE of uh, Cloud Fabric have analyzer, controller, manager, and the key here is is powered by artificial intelligence. Let's look into the detail here. iMaster NCE Cloud Fabric allow us to do the integrated planning and construction. First, they have these planning tools that allow us to implement planning and construction right in the software and it's also allow us to have a zero task provisioning which is ZTP for short. Next is also simplified deployment, service intent, self-understanding and conversion. Service intent is basically the business requirement that can change into a network requirement. Network changes, simulation and evaluation, eliminating human errors. So based on the ideas that the architect want to change, but they do not want to just simply build and at the end there is a failure. So what we can do is to use the iMaster NCE to run through a simulation to see whether this idea is success or failure. Then we also have intelligent operation and management, 
rapid fault detection and location based on knowledge graph and expert experience. So it's also allowed us to do a fast fault rectification based on expert experience and simulation analysis. This beside using artificial intelligence, they also use the big data. And finally, we also can use the real-time optimization. So AI fabric oriented local traffic interface and online model training and optimization so they are using a machine learning to predict future failure so user behavior prediction and resource optimization suggestions so all these are the current technology that deploy in the iMaster NCE cloud fabric Next, we look into the ZTP Zero Trust Provisioning uh, Deployment. Remember earlier on on the slide, I mentioned that one of the challenge that we have is we need to manage multiple devices. So here we have a few steps. Step number one is the network administrator try to manage the iMaster by keying in all this information. So the network administrator click the icon on iMaster NCE to start ZTP task. That's the first step. So on the second steps, the device automatically obtain IP address from the iMaster NCE. So these are all the device that can get the IP address. Then once the switch or the device connected to iMaster, iMaster then can determine the device role. It either can be spine or the leaf. So we have the spine here or the leaf here. So they deliver the configuration such as the IP address, SNMP configuration, and the NetCoff configuration to online device and manage the device through the management IP addresses. So that is the second and the third step. The fourth step is the iMaster NCE globally deliver interconnection configuration as well as OSBF and BGP configuration to those devices. And finally, the device go online successfully and administrator view the network information from iMaster NCE. So this is a very high level on the steps on how the ZTP work using the iMaster NCE. Then we look into the network intent, self-understanding and fast service deployment. All this while we look into the network intent. The network intent is where the business need is keep on changing. So the business need need to be able to define in the network. So this is where the iMaster NCE come in. So from high level, the network design, if you are using the iMaster NCE, require two to three days. So this is based on the optimum estimation. The configuration delivery only need about 10 minutes and the service verification require one to two days. So let's look into the configuration delivery here, which is 10 minutes. If you are using iMaster NCE, you can see we have the intent conversion and it convert into the network design. So the intent model have a built-in ACL deployment and the network provisioning. So this network design will go through the simulation verification. Remember I mentioned that this idea will convert into some simulation that run in the iMaster NCE. It's going to verify if your ideas is working based on the data from the AI and the big data and the result they are going to verify. So all this only take you about 10 minutes. And if let's say the design have suboptimum, then the iMaster NCE will give you some of the recommendation. Once this has been optimized, then you can do the service verification. So that is the iMaster NCE uh, fabric using the network intent. So here, this is also another features on the iMaster NCE, the network changes simulation and change risk prediction. So configuration to be changed can go through the network modeling and the formal verification algorithm. So the data are being learned from the live network uh, configuration, live network topology, as well as the live network resource information include your traffic behavior. So all this information will be uploaded into the iMaster NCE. So the iMaster NCE will go through this network modeling and with the AI, the verification algorithm, they are going to establish the physical, logical and application network model, use the formal verification for computing. And this information will verify if you have enough resources, your access connectivity and impact of the original service if you are going to build your design while you're still running on your live network. So these are the benefit of using the iMaster NCE. So on the verification, it will check whether the resource on the live are sufficient and analyze and display of changes on the original services all using GUI.